The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the P Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your humble, lovable, squeezably soft host. And once more into the breach, dear friends. As we start this day off, we've got uh, the S&P up, what, four and a half points, uh, a little less than two billion shares. And I think we have a watershed moment in this market. And part of that is summer trading, and most of it is that uh, we have everybody leaving the building. <clears throat> this time of year, it is not uncommon to see incredibly low volatility in the markets. I was surprised when China did something on Monday, because normally everybody knows that everybody's gone. Maybe one of the reasons why they did it on Monday uh, for Wall Street folks, this is the last big week before uh, most of their kids go back to school or two weeks, and they like to uh, head on out to the Hamptons and take their vacation, especially the big men of Wall Street who have big houses out there like to uh, go out there. And what do we see Monday but a giant uh, traffic jam of people trying to get back from the Hamptons back down to Manhattan? Uh, what do we see today? Uh, starting at about 10 o'clock, that traffic jam going back the other way. My guess is that they've locked this market up and it will be incredibly flat through expiration and maybe even into September. Over the last 24 hours, I took the daily newsletter and we pretty much, well, we are all cash. That is basically telling, or at least for me, is that it doesn't change the long term or even the medium term. But uh, when we're talking about short term, the next uh, 15 trading days, I'm looking for incredibly low volatility in this market uh, before everybody comes back from vacation. I think they've got uh, fellow travelers in the Fed and the Treasury and all they want to do. Now, today I wanted to see something that told me if I was right or wrong. And yesterday we talked about it a little bit, and that is the dollar index I thought the dollar index would either break down or break up fairly significantly today, telling me that uh, my calls were right or wrong. But it is up 22 cents, tells me that I'm probably right long term, but not short term right now. And any kind of options or anything that would decay fairly quickly is probably not something to have. Uh, we've got positions in the Tech Insider, which is the longer term investment newsletter that I am not touching, but I think we still have those same kind of, um, you know, could we go to 2100 on the S&P cash? I think the answer is yes. Do we have anything higher? Probably not. Do we have anything a lot lower for the next 10 days? I don't think so. I think uh, right now, looking at all the options and what they're doing, it says an enormously narrow trading range over the next six or seven days. Now, could we have any kind of big change or news come out that changes that? I think the answer is yes, but I don't think we're going to see the next shoe drop for at least a couple of weeks, if not three weeks. And this is probably going to embolden bears who see a market that um, eh, there's nothing but blue skies out there for them. But it is problematic, at least um, uh, for us here uh, because um, they're going to want to keep this market very narrow. In fact, if uh, you don't know a lot about equity deaths uh, in uh, Wall Street firms, this is the day that you hand off your trading desk to a subordinate and your orders are one thing. I don't want this stock. I don't want this index. I don't want anything moving. I don't want you getting uh, all getty on me. If it goes up, sell. If it goes down, buy. I want to make sure that you have extremely narrow uh, volatility. 
and we'll take care of this market when they come back. I don't know if it's a gentleman's agreement or just because everybody's gone, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. But uh, my guess is that between them, between the Fed, between them and the Treasury, I don't think we're going to have a lot of news and we're not going to have much else happening. And I have a feeling that while I'm looking for a devaluation of a, a total of around 15% on China's yuan, not Juan Valdez, their cash. Uh, we're 5% there. So they've got another 10% to go. Uh, is the next 5% devaluation going to happen in September? Could. Um, my guess, though, is in the next few months, we will see a, to uh, a total of 15% because guess what? That's what they're saying they're going to do. Uh, if you read the newspapers, uh, that's basically what the government of China has said. 15% or 5% there. We got 10% to go. How they do it, I guess, is anybody's guess. But um, They are more than willing to devalue their currency by 15%. So whatever that does for us. Of course, most things, including crude, are denominated in dollars. And uh, that's probably going to do nothing but make sure that we see a stronger dollar and weaker yen and probably a weaker euro, which makes the dollar even stronger. I'm still thinking that long term we've got um, at least 100 in this. And I'm almost willing to say now that I think 100 is low. I thought maybe we'd test 100 and then retreat. My guess is that now we're going to go through 100 and probably blow through it. So I'm still a dr strong dollar fanatic. You may say I've drunk the Kool-Aid, but uh, I will not say that. And uh, it is what it is. Anyway, uh, 2090 on the S&P cash, or four points. No a big deal out here. You can give me a call at 877-927-6648. And uh, they're saying I'm a little overexposed. Uh, let's uh, see if we can't change that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why everything decided to to do that, but I've turned down my exposure. Maybe I'm more contrasty now. Does that make sense, Dave? Uh, I don't know. We will find out. Uh, anyway, as we go on and usually talk about things and stuff, I've got to get my little thing ready to go. My UPS decided to blow up right before the show this week. I'm having every kind of technical difficulty this week than one can imagine. But a uh, UPS that's not happy is not it. I guess I either have to get a new battery or uh, it's failing itself. But I don't have a chance. Finally located it, the problem down to it. But uh, in the meantime... And on this day, President Ronald Reagan in 1981 signs into law the Economic Recovery Act of 1981, the biggest tax cut in American history, which streamlines the federal tax brackets, lowers the rate to 36%, and creates a universally deductible individual retirement account, or if you live in Lutz, the IRA. And everybody asks what I have against loots, and one day I will tell you. But some people did some very bad things in loots, and that's why. Okay, uh, other things of interest, uh, probably take a, a few pot shots at some things. I've got a long list of them. I don't have slides for them, so you'll just have to look at my smiling face today. Uh, da, 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 if I can read my own, oh, I wanted to get into Samsung. That's why I've got so many notes. And I've got a story for acquired knowledge since the market seems to be going nowhere that I think will be very useful. And I have uh, a lot of stocks that are moving. But first, I wanted to get into, back to us to pop up a chart of Apple because that's what I'm talking about there. Uh, there is no slide. And apparently, my engineer is not listening. I said there was no slide. Uh, okay, what else do we have? Uh, well, let's, let's wake him up because I don't think he's listening. Alan! 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 Al! Alan! 
Yeah. Maybe he's awake now. Okay. Um, I wanted to get, uh, oh, there it is. I wanted to get up and look at Apple. Uh, I suspect that a little bit of the uh, buying yesterday in Apple um, had to do with them. And of course, they were the big buyers yesterday. Uh, it had a lot to do with uh, uh, Samsung coming out today. Uh, it's all about appearances. But Carl Icahn was probably on the phone to uh, the current CEO uh, reading him the riot act after it got down to 109.63 yesterday. Uh, and they started heavily buying. Uh, they were the single biggest buyer of equities in the country yesterday. And uh, it shows as they move their stock price up about five bucks, a little higher today. Uh, I said that there was probably two reasons. One, they didn't want to be embarrassed on the day that Samsung rolled out their new phone. And probably Carl Icahn was playing Pac-Man on uh, the current CEO's rear end. But uh, anyway, Samsung came out and showed their new phones today. They have two of them. They will be available on, when was it? Uh, it's a week from today, August 21st. I have a feeling this directly impacts the long-term viability of Apple as the pre uh, preeminent, can I say that? Preeminent? Yeah. Uh, smartphone manufacturer. Now, what they showed was nothing less than astounding as far as hardware. Apple has had the high ground in software for low these many years. What uh, Samsung was showing today, though, was uh, two new phones. And one is optimized for business. The other one is optimized for media consumption. Both of these have the rounded edges that we've shown off on the show so many times before. Uh, if you have not seen the edges uh, where basically it's like a whole nother screen on the edge, like buttons that would be on the edge, except now they are programmable and visual and you can touch the buttons on the side. Uh, they have a few things that are very interesting. Probably the most interesting to me was that even when the phone's off, you can pull the pin out and write on the screen and it will show up kind of uh, uh, like a white, paint and that was uh it kind of like if you just had a uh, pad of uh of note paper you don't even have to turn the phone on you just pull the pen out and start writing so if you needed to write a phone number down or if someone ran you over with a car and you needed the license plate to write it down somewhere quickly uh no more just having a piece of paper lying around to write on very quickly or rebooting your phone or anything else um all both of these uh Devices both have pins, if I didn't say that already. Uh, they are also selling a optional keyboard cover that makes it act just like a BlackBerry with the regular buttons and everything. And you can flip it over and put it right underneath the phone. Very slick. Huge amounts of memory. We'll talk about that when we come back. 4K video. Be back in just a second. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high-definition video, giving you crystal
crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Hey, Take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. And we're back. And, uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about the Samsung phone. Got some questions in the den. You can also email me. I'll check those after the bottom of the hour. And see if you have anything else to say. Uh, anyway, uh, keyboard cover will pretty much this cover. I, they showed it on the a live stream event today. Pretty much puts anybody out of business that or puts BlackBerry out of business. Let me put it that way. Look to me like a better keyboard than BlackBerry has. Each one of these phones will now have four gigabytes of memory in it. Um, that's pretty much what most desktop computers have. So pretty good. It has a excellent, I mean, really beautiful 4K video camera built in. Uh, it wirelessly charges in two hours. So if you've got, uh, you want to put it next to your nightstand and just drop it on there, uh, you've got it. In fact, Samsung's making a lot of new monitors with a little stand in front of it where you can put your cell phone on it and it will charge wirelessly. Uh, these phones will be available August 21st. Uh, of course, they're also going to have their Samsung Pay. We talked about this what, four or six months ago, and it's finally coming out. Their uh, Samsung Pay system uh, is basically a company that they bought, and what it does is magnetically imitate your credit card. So you basically put it right next to where you would swipe a credit card on any of the existing hardware out there, and it works. And it won't work not only on credit cards, but just about anything. Uh, it's going to combine with the screen so you can have 
QR codes for people that do that or barcodes uh, that can be scanned too. So um, you'll be able to basically, other than maybe some cash in your driver's license, and I'm wondering when your driver's license will be able to be put on your phone. I'm wondering about that. Anyway, pretty killer stuff. Uh, the Samsung Pay rolls out uh, September 28th. But uh, pretty impressive stuff. Had a question in the den about O'Reilly. And to tell you the truth, uh, this uh, continues to uh, astound everybody if you don't go and ever drop into a car uh, repair place. But my God, is these are the cars getting old on the road out here. And I drive by a, uh, what is it? Not advanced, AutoZone. It's just down the street, and I ended up going by it every once in a while but when i look at the parking lot it's always filled and they got like 20 delivery vans and those things are always coming in and out i'm seeing them zoom back in and out but uh a great deal and i it, i don't know if it's just anecdotal but a great deal or these old cars tend to be uh being maintained by the uh illegal <laughs> immigrants uh that work around this area you see them out there in the parking lot, you instantly know these guys have, you know, 15, 18-year-old cars out there that are barely on the road, and they're patching them back up and using them again. So as far as I can tell, a lot of this business is being driven by very, very old cars, not 5 or 10 years old, but maybe 15, 18-year-old cars uh, that are just barely being patched and put back together. And uh, O'Reilly, AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, uh, all doing a lot of work uh, in uh, getting these customers with old cars back on the road. And I, I, to me, uh, the last three years, the average age of the car has still gone up, even though everybody talks about how many cars that uh, Detroit is selling. Um, the a average age continues to go up. So I think that... Uh, I don't know what the, where the top is in this thing, but it doesn't look like it's going to. It's not one of these ones that I would be shorting out here. Let me put it that way. It uh, yeah, Cuban, Cuban Chrome. Yeah, <laughs> that's not PC. Uh, Megan Kelly will be after me. Well, that would be nice. She's quite a looker. Uh, what else do we have out there? Um, oh, um, how much time we got? Okay, well. Uh, for the loser horn today, uh, where's my loser horn out here? Da -da -da -da, losing horn. We have Kohl's, KSS. This went down and through and blew out uh, the previous lows at $53.86 from October 31st. That had 3.3 million shares. We've already blown through it with 12. It's kind of going to hang out here, but. Um, retail does not look like it's coming back. And uh, when we come back, we'll look at a couple other stocks that also have dropped the Baby Ruth in the Punch Bowl. Maybe a few other stocks, too. Give me a call, Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now.
Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien has just announced a live online workshop taking place Wednesday, August 12th, six trades for September. This special event will be open to all subscribers to his daily newsletter, Market Insights. Tom will walk you through six trade setups in the market he's identified setting up for September. Two long positions, two short positions, and two option trades. New subscribers will also receive a free copy of his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, an $88 value. But we're not done yet. We're also including a Tiger's Den membership as part of all Market Insights subscriptions at no cost as well. You get Tom O'Brien's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, 30 days of his newsletter, Market Insights, access to his live online workshop, Six Trades for September, and access to the Tiger's Den. This offer is only valid for two weeks, so don't miss out. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to Market Insights at the front page of TFNN.com today. If you're looking for a great opportunity to diversify your financial portfolio, consider the Principal Protected Market Safe CD from Everbank. They've just released the second running of their five year Market Safe Power Metal CD, which combines the power of gold, silver, and copper. You get exposure to three valuable metals in one index CD and have the potential to earn up to 45% capped upside payment at maturity if the metals increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should they decrease? No worries. There's zero risk to your deposited principal here, as you still get 100% of it back. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on the CD. Intrigued yet? The August 17th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN for more information, including important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Everbank is a member of FDIC. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're back. Um, we were looking at Kohl's. There's a few others out here. Shake Shack and uh others uh, okay uh is that any better okay yep i think you're hearing my headphones echo back into the mic so we're just trying to get everything tuned to perfection here uh anyway shake shack uh, was one of those other stocks s-h-a-k uh this was one that they manipulated the uh bejesus out of when they came out and said that they were going to try to raise more cash, they got uh, everybody to run this a couple of days ago, of course, and then uh, it sold off that same day. They ran all the shorts out of the market just in time. Uh, no love for this one yet today, and even heavier volume down here. Of course, this is one of those sliver deals with not a lot of shares uh, in the total float out there, and it becomes a issue of... Uh, you know, more of a gamble than any kind of uh, predictive ability to say where this stock is going. But uh, it is priced at an astronomically high value. Everything would have to go perfect and then some for them to justify the current price points in this. Speaking of stocks at super high price points, uh, Tesla, T-S-L-A, uh, he continues uh, all... Uh, Elon Musk continues to work uh, on this stock, and 
not so much as a CEO as a stock manipulator anymore with his tweets and everything else. Of course, missed on earnings, trying to come back up. Uh, they were a lot higher earlier this morning. He's going to roll out some more shares. He needs more cash uh, to roll out his big giant battery company since it's, I guess it's no longer a car company. Uh, if you're going to spend four times of what you you do to build cars on batteries, you're a battery company. Anyway, uh, it's kind of a little doji out here forming today on it. Um, I'm just hoping it gets back up to 255 or 260 so I get one more shot at uh, at uh, being able to short this thing before it falls back down to probably about 40 bucks over long term. Um, it's hard for me to see how it would be any better than that. What else do we have out here? Ooh. Oh, uh, yeah, Andy Heck is going to be on later today. Uh, of course, Tom O'Brien on the two hours after us, and then uh, Andrew in his 5 o'clock hour. I hopefully he'll spend a lot of time on those crop reports yesterday. I'm sure Tom will uh, give us a bird's eye lowdown on whatever that means on gold today. So got a lot of stuff coming up after here. Uh, anyway, uh, Tesla, that was kind of interesting. There were a few other stocks that I wanted to get to. I wrote them down out here. Uh, da, 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 Acor. A-C-O-R. Um, talking about intervention, apparently Accordia has a huge issue, and I'm going to just give a warning, and that issue has to do with patents. Uh, these patents control 90% of what Accordia does. And it looks like the patent office is going to grant uh, a re-authorization uh, uh, of the patents that it does have. If those would go against Accordia, uh, talking about a stock that can move greatly, uh, this is one that you would want. Uh, also had some people asking me about Yahoo, and even over a year ago, we talked about how I thought Yahoo had a CEO that was put in there to take the fall, that nobody really could change a great deal of it. Uh, probably got a little cute by half by not trying to sell Alibaba when it was at highs, and of course, they have a nice little... Uh, upgrade today to run the shorts out of this stock but uh, my guess is that probably don't hear anything in the next two weeks but my guess is when we come back in the first week of September I think that they're going to be looking for uh, Miss uh, Myers head on a stick uh, because of this and what's kind of funny is is that Yahoo had the ability to sell itself a long time ago and screw up what was it 2005 or six at 34 bucks back then uh, when it was trading at 17 and didn't take the cash. Um, is, maybe this is just a company with a culture that it can't take the cash when it has a, a wad of cash thrown at it. But, uh, you know, they tr got a little cute, tried to figure out all the tax ways of making the best of these Alibaba shares, but, of course, waited until Baba blew chunks, and uh, now they are paying the price. Uh, one thing that you, you know, both of these kind of bouncing today. Uh, but when you look at Yahoo, only about 5 or $4 of that price point is and has anything to do with Yahoo. The rest of it is all Alibaba. So I don't know if there's anything more you can say about it than that. Um, these two are tied at the hip. And my guess is that uh, nobody is going to be very pleased come back uh, from vacation and we're going to start seeing Marissa Meyer's uh, head being called for, much like uh, Twitter. In fact, let's take a quick look at Twitter. T-W-T-R. And what else do we have out here? Uh, oh, John Logan and Cricket will be guest hosting Tom O'Brien's show today for both hours. Cool. So we'll be able to look forward to that. Uh, a very juicy two hours. 
Uh, what else do I have down here on my list? Uh, ones, yeah. Trading image in 100 years. Oh, did we even get into that? I, I forgot to say that because it was out there in the news this morning. I wanted to cover it at the beginning, and I messed up and did not get that. Uh, we've got plenty of time here before we get into more charts. But I think it is going to be uh, very interesting. Uh, and I, I want to put uh, a word out there for you folks that maybe uh, didn't make all the money that you think that you should have in the last couple of months. And the answer to that is if you made a profit, you did better than 96% of the people in the market over the last 60 days. In fact, you did better than most people that were making $10 million a year as a hedge fund manager. You did better than just about everybody else. So if you're in the den and you made cash in the last 60 days, if you are uh, just one of the readers of a newsletter out here and you made money overall, be very happy. This is the narrowest trading range for 60 days that the market has had in over 100 years. So if you were able to make money on it, God love you, uh, because 95% uh, of the people did not. They lost cash in these last 60 days, and I think it's probably kind of nice. I'm glad that uh, I was able to make some money for my readers out here. I'm sure other people made money too, but uh, most people did not. You know, over time, most people do not. But um, if you can make money in a tight trading range, one that we've had that the, we have not seen in 100 years, um, I think you need to pat yourself on the back. I think a lot of people were kind of disappointed that maybe they didn't catch all of it or they sold early or they sold late. But uh, the reality is that almost everybody did even worse than you think that you did. And it, uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, uh, that's it. <laughs> okay, what else do we have going on here? We want to look at a few stock. We still got six minutes in the segment. Want to look at Buffalo Wild Wings and see how it's doing. You know, I thought maybe this thing would crack. I didn't short it. But now we're getting close enough um, to the preseason games really rolling out and my guess is that they may get may be able to get buffalo wild wings to hang out here at the highs of course nice little doji out here today so i'll be watching it tomorrow got a huge gap that it could fill uh, it really looked to me like they had a lot of people on the wrong side of this and why it gapped up on earnings the earnings were not that good um but uh we could see, but uh, I'm going to keep, if there are a few stocks that are getting ready to move, I suspect Buffalo Wild Wings is one. And the question will be, I don't watch football, so I don't know. When are the, maybe somebody in the den knows when the preseason games start. But that's always a, uh, a big deal for them. Maybe somebody out there, <laughs> the John Locust. <laughs> Everybody's having a good time as the market is treading water here. Uh, for the last 30 minutes, 2.14 billion shares of volume, much, much lighter than yesterday and the day before and the day before that. Other stocks of interest, Zion Bank shares. I looked at this one out here and thought, uh, does this have any indication for the greater? Oh, boy. Sounds to me like the fire department's coming in the front door of the house here. Hang on a second. Uh what else do we have? Uh, anyway, Zion's Bank, sure. I wanted to look at the uh, banking index. Maybe we'll do that after the break. But this was one of these charts that I hadn't seen a great deal of, and that is coming back and filling its gap on much lighter volume. It was kind of interesting to see this big gap set up on the, what is that, the 2nd of June with 10.8 million shares. Got into it with half of it, had another nice bounce, it's back in. Yesterday, it got in with 2.7 million shares. Got a little doji out here today. Um, you know, if interest rates are really going higher and they're going to help banks, I thought this was one of the best looking bank stocks out here. I wouldn't buy it because two bucks is not gonna interest me on a $30 stock, but uh, only three bucks. It could get back up to this June 26th high. Thought it was worth taking a look at. 
WDR is another one out here, Waddell and Reed Financial. Um, this one still has a little bit farther back to go, but certainly $41.06 is on my radar. And you know, not much of a bounce out here today, but um, it's down here with fairly light volume. That's been kind of interesting to me. UTX, I know Tom O'Brien had been trying to short it or was short it. I don't know what his status was now. Maybe uh, he's not here today, so we will not know. But uh, certainly it looks to me like this one did the test of the previous low yesterday, October 15th, 7.1 million shares and uh, 4.6 million shares yesterday. So... Um, United Technologies, of course, big in the defense business. Uh, maybe this thing has finally bottomed after uh, the whole consolidation, selling the helicopter business, a lot of other different stuff going on. But pretty much uh, had a bead on this one. But uh, like a lot of these stocks, you have to be short them going into earnings uh, to get any kind of dis decent risk reward. And that almost is an oxymoron. Uh, Cal Amp Corporation, CAMP is the symbol on this one, um, was another one down into these previous lows on very light volume yesterday. And it kind of popped in midday out here. There isn't a great deal of these stocks, by the way, is one of the reasons I'm bringing up. Uh, almost nothing out here testing the lows or testing the highs with lighter volume. They're either blowing through one or the other. Uh, but no, incon no consistent function. One of the reasons why, at least for short term, I'm out in all cash right now today. October 15th, 1.1 million shares. We got into January 16th with 700,000 shares. And yesterday, 300,000 shares. So Cal Amp out here looks like it's trying to make a bottom. And uh, let's get the profile up here for it so we can read that. Provides wireless communication solutions for various applications worldwide. Operates in two segments, wireless data com and satellite data. Uh, offers a uh, lot, la, 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 M to M, MDR solutions, da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, eye in the sky, internet. That's what I'll call them. Anyway, Cal Amp. Eh, kind of interesting. BKX, another stock out here. Bank Corp. South I was kind of looking at this and how it had gone into the previous low of July 7th. It's kind of hanging out at that low right now. It's back in the trading range. July 7th, Bank uh, South, Bank Corp South on July 7th had uh, $24.77 with uh, three quarters of a million shares into it with uh, half a million shares yesterday and back into the trading range. I would really think I'm watching these stocks because if interest rates are going higher, these probably should be some of the stronger stocks. And maybe we saw a break in the last couple or two, day, two or three days where maybe the Fed is quietly out here saying that interest rates will not go up. Maybe they figured out that China's problem came from Japan, is now Europe's problem, and Europe's problem will become our problem. And they will find yet another excuse not to raise rates. But uh, I think we need to be watching these bank stocks very closely over the last, over the next week, seven, ten days. It doesn't look like there's going to be a lot of movement in it, but maybe we'll get a clue as to whether we will see those interest rate hikes in September. A lot of people betting on them. A lot of people betting on one and done. Still give me a call at 877-927-6648. I'll check my email during the break. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now you can get a two week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed 
Nest has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting tfnn.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under Trading Newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. James says that uh, preseason football starts tonight. So maybe that's one of the things that's going to keep Buffalo Wild Wings up. Uh, we're already back into the football season, so they may be strong all the way through uh, March Madness next year and take yet another header once again. NetEase came out with earnings last night down rather significantly, filled a gap that had uh, you know, happened on the 9th of July, and we're back filling that gap today. That gap came on 2 million shares, on 1.2 million shares, and the question is, are we even on the downside? Are we going to be able to get any more volume for the rest of the summer? And I don't think we are. I think we've kind of made the lows. I think we've kind of made the highs. And I think it's uh, going to be very tough to get any of these stocks out of a trading range. So we'll be watching. Uh, other stocks of interest out here that I had on my radar, Monster Energy, MNST. 
nice little pop. It uh, had some upgrade from some Wall Street flacky. But, of course, uh, a lot of short interest in this stock. I kind of like it because, actually, this one is uh, setting up my double repo pattern almost perfectly. So Monster Ener uh, Energy would be a short under the next close of the nine-day moving average or three-by-three three displaced moving average. And uh, I like this. This is a lot of what I'm looking at and what I think may be stretched out until maybe the last week of August or 1st of September, uh, where we get these nice kind of easy retracements back up higher into the market, uh, but no volume. And uh, the next close under these, these lines means it's time to pull the trigger short. Uh, I think uh, we were talking earlier about uh, AAP. Um, not AAP, AAP, no L. There we go. Um, which we already covered. What else is on my list here? CPA, W, uh, Shake Shack, PH. I hadn't had a chance to look at that out today. We've got enough time to get in. Platform Specialty Products Corporation. Know nothing about them, so let's find out about them today. Certainly back into the previous low of February 2nd at $20.15. The 1.6 million shares got into it today with 7.7 .7 .7 million shares, so I think that tells you what you need to know. Uh, produces and sells specialty chem uh, chemical products in the Americas, uh, Asia, and Europe. The company performs uh, uh, many plating products that are used to plate holes for uh, final finishes, circuit boards, any th thin film kind of application out here. That's not good for uh, manufacturing. And I think that tells you a great deal. I'll have to find out more about this company. But, you know, it did kind of bounce off the lows out here. So maybe it is setting up some low. But we're going to have to consolidate out uh, on the right-hand side of this chart for a while. In the meantime, I promised everybody new sound uh, drops this week. And there was one that I loved in 2000. And most people don't remember it. You can find it on YouTube. But uh, it was a Super Bowl ad in, I think, 2000. Is that right? 2000 or 2001? At the height of the dot-com buzz. And it had to do with this guy that was going into the hospital. He's got money coming out the wazoo. What do we have? Money out the wazoo. He's got money coming out of the wazoo. He's got money coming out of the wazoo. I thought it was so appropriate. We'll talk about it more tomorrow. So when you can, not when you have to, we'll catch you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. You're watching Tiger TV.